How's it going guys and welcome to part 4 of this video series that I'm doing on the shield. Uh, this is how to get even more out of your NVIDIA shield. So with today's video is going to be focusing on installing an emulator as well as an application that will give you the ability to edit and upload to YouTube. So to do that, let's go ahead and hop onto the Aptoid Market. We're going to be choosing this magnifying glass. I'm going to search for Happy Chick. This is an excellent emulator that I really love using. I don't condone using any games but your own, of course. Um, so definitely load your own games. Don't download free illegal games. So we have two here. This one it has been updated recently. So I'm going to be choosing this one. And I see the trusted shield here so I'm going to choose install all right we'll be choosing nets down here and install All right, app is installed. I'm going to open it to make sure that we don't have any issues here. It can always be tricky with these apps like this. All right, I agree. We're gonna do skip here. Uh, we're gonna update now. And it's kind of off the screen here, but you can fight, play, I think that's forms and I think that's going to be a message or, message or account. Um, so you can find tutorials on how to use this app. Um, you can search games as well as search others. Again, I'm going to be using my own games, so I'm not going to do this method here. So I'm going to hop out of here. So this next thing we're going to install is called Power Director. This is a powerful tool that you can use to, um, let's say you do Edit it. You can do, let's say you record a video and you can record videos here. Um, I can record, I can stream, I can do anything I would like, and I can um, from here. I don't have um, an option to upload to YouTube, but I can definitely get the video on my uh, shield. Once here, there's no way you can upload it to, uh, to YouTube, even trying using the YouTube app. So let me show you what I mean about there's no um, button to launch or to uh, upload a video in YouTube. So let's open up YouTube here. And as you can see, there's no upload button. And I can go over here and search in settings. There's no way I can upload a video from the default app here. So there's a way you can get around this. And that is installing another version of YouTube using the Aptoid Market. Uh, this will be what you would use after you've edited a video, edited a video through Power Director. So let's down, let's first get Power Director. We're gonna go back, search. All right, Power Director. Choose this guy. Now let's see. I don't see it in this list. Actually, there it is, right there. I'm gonna choose this. I'm going to choose install. And install. All right, we're going to go ahead and open this. Optimize an application. I'm going to allow. All right. So I know that I know it's off the, off the screen here a little bit. I I probably need to uh, make this probably uh, crop this a little better with the current TV that I'm using. But uh, you can click Create New. So guys, here you can actually click on New Project down here. You can create a new project. You can um, you have the option to upload to YouTube, Facebook, and just about anything. I'm not going to do a tutorial on Power Director. It's been a while since I've used it. So I'll only if I were to try to give you a tutorial right now or walk you guys through it, I would um, not do that well. But um, 
last time I did use it, it worked just fine. And I may do a tutorial later on on how to do this and how to upload to YouTube. But just know this is a powerful tool. And if, and if you guys have a shield and you want to get the most out of it, you would definitely want this on your shield. All right, so let's try and hop out of this. I'm going to choose exit. Hop out of here. And that is it. There's one last thing I want to show you guys, um, and this is the most one of the most important parts. This probably could have been done and should have been done, probably in the first video, maybe the second. The next step is how to um, change your default storage. So right now I have a terabyte storage um, hard drive attached to the shield. To change that to default, I'll choose this settings button, go down to storage and reset. There it is right there, I'll choose my drive. Now, before we do this, one important thing to note about this is you can set up as re removable storage. Um, doing this will allow you to, to have storage that you, can, that, you, that you can connect and remove. It won't affect the, uh, the file structure in any ways. It won't damage the file system if you remove it. Um, this would be beneficial if you had movies that you had on a hard drive you could attach, watch, you can detach, do whatever you would like there. This next option is to set up as device storage. This is an option that you would set if you, um, if you don't, basically you would set this option if you want this to be the storage that you always have connected to the shield. If you disconnect it for any reason, there will be possible corruption. And there's no way to come in back from that without doing a complete battery data reset and wiping the drive. So this is this is temporary. This is permanent. So I'm going to choose setup device storage. And this basically goes over exactly what we talked about. I'm going to choose format. This is a one terabyte drive, so it may take a while. So we're just going to let this roll, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, we are back. Now, um, this is an option that is really cool. One thing to note about the uh, storage is uh, when you set it up as, as the removable storage, which is the first option, you cannot move your internal apps to that type of storage. It has to be internal storage. So, be, so, you, so you, you only see this current screen if you format as device storage. Um, so that's why we see this. I have the option to move data to complete setup. So um, I'm not going to move anything right now, so I'm going to choose move later. And um, I did this for a reason. If I would have chose that option, it would have probably taken maybe a couple minutes and it would have came back with everything moved over and you're good to go. But let's say you, don't, you do exactly what I did and you don't know how to move the storage. So we're going to choose internal share storage. We're going to choose apps. We're going to find an app where we can move over, so BB Racing. All I need to do to move this over and change the storage is to click on Storage Used and choose WD USB Drive. And that's all there is to it. Um, another place, another way you can get to this same location, let me hop out of here, is go into Settings, Apps, and Clash of Plans. Storage used, WD. And there we go. So that is it guys. Um, that is all I wanted to show you. This is probably gonna be the final part of, uh, of this little series. I may do more for gameplay, maybe some tutorials or some other things, but uh, as of right now, I have the shield exactly where I want it and it's optimized for just about anything. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, guys. Um, leave some comments if you have uh, some uh, constructive criticism or some ideas that you'd like to see featured in another video. And we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. You have a great day. Goodbye.